Hi, I'm Mario, and this is my box truck tiny house conversion that I've been working on. This is a 24 foot 1995 Chevrolet 6500 or Top Kick four door box truck. So, about a year ago in uh, 2022, in July, I decided to actually June. I decided to turn this, which was my workshop for work, I decided to turn it into a tiny house. And this is where we're at now. I've done a few little add-ons since my last video. My last video I made six months ago, and I really, I've had a lot of things going on. I haven't been able to do any videos, but now I'm back. I'm gonna start updating, try to do it weekly. If I don't, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna try to actually update weekly. I'm gonna do more videos and, but enough with that. Let me show you guys everything I've done. Come along with me. All right guys, so I'll start on the outside. So we've done a few little things to the outside. Haven't done paint yet. I'm sorry, I haven't got to the paint. We do have a ladder up under here that I have hidden. We also did our, our water fill on the, the inside and then that's our vent for our all right, when you look on the outside, it's still basic. I haven't gotten to the paint on any of the outside yet. I'm still waiting to get there. So we have a four-door 1995 box truck. There is a ladder rack here. We do have our water fill right here and our on-demand hot water heater exhaust. We also have our vent fan for the, uh, for the bathroom. And also we have 400 watts of solar panels, Renogy solar panels, 100 watts each. Those are up on the roof and we have our window for the kitchen. This is our um, mini split. We have our mini split underneath. We did put a uh, generator underneath here. This was probably one of the worst mistakes that I have made putting a generator <laughs> on the truck it vibrates so much i'll never in life do that again so that has to come off while we're running it we did actually mount the steps and the steps fold up and down so those are beauty so you when you get ready to go you just put the steps on roll uh, fold the steps up and there is a chain on this driver's side that straps across and i know you're wondering why the pool noodles noodles are there but that's just to stop the rattle and uh, to stop the steps from actually hitting the door because it just makes such a, a ruckus. And on this side, we do actually have an electric, uh, our, our shore power outlet right there. And we have a window here. Not much has changed on the driver's side at all. All right, guys, come on in. Let's uh, check it out here. So come on in. So a little bit has changed here. As you come in, we do have the five burner stove. And we did put the hardware on. And this countertop here is actually reclaimed wood off of a building we tore down with some vinyl on top of it. I believe that's vinyl. Have a toaster oven here because we don't have an oven. This is a residential countertop, not an RV countertop stove. Stainless steel backsplash. We do have a vent fan here to vent out any exhaust fumes from cooking or any of the propane that's supposed to drop to the floor. Um, we do have Sorry about the camera angle, guys. I'm not a great cameraman. But I know it's a mess in here. So I will show you guys my mess. But that is the microwave in it. It does work. Farmhouse sink. That's, I believe, like a 24-inch or 22-inch. I'll have to put the link in the description below. <clears throat> so under underneath our refrigerator, we have storage underneath the refrigerator. And this is a apartment size 12 volt refrigerator. I, I, I don't remember the brand. I think it's Canon or something. And above that, we do have a mini split. Um, 9,000 BTU mini split. I believe it's a Chinese brand. I don't remember the name. 
and that's above our RV window with a residential style frame with reclaimed material as well. Um, above this, I have not painted the cabinets. These are reclaimed cabinets that I that I did get, and we have them going all the way across on both sides. So they have not been painted. We also do have the garage door that, that still works and it goes up and down. So that's why you see a difference on, uh, there's a step down on the, uh, on the ceiling here. And on the other side here, we have our dinette area and this bench folds down and turns into another, another bed, a twin size bed. So this is our dog's food right here. Yeah, he's, he has to be outside right now because he won't let me make the video. Anyway, there that's storage here um, on this side, clothing storage. And then on this side, we do have more electrical uh, stuff that we have underneath this side. We have one power inverter here and our shore power comes inside uh, here. This couch folds out and turns into a bed underneath this couch we do have our power we have a uh a 3000 watt power inverter um it's off brand and underneath this one we have a 1000 watt power inverter with a transfer built-in transfer switch uh also underneath this couch we have a 200 amp hour Power Queen lithium battery and all of the rest electric, all of the rest of the electrical is underneath this couch here. <clears throat> so if you go over here, sorry guys, it's a mess. Um, I didn't really clean up well, but this is where the dog sleeps. Uh, he likes tearing up his dog beds, but he doesn't tear up his blankets. So. Anyway, there's storage up underneath here, underneath this step here. So if you lift up, you could see, you could see some storage, little storage underneath there. And we do have storage underneath here and storage underneath here. We have storage underneath, or I'm sorry, behind here we have storage and underneath these baskets, there is a hundred gallon fresh water tank. And if you go up these stairs, we're sorry guys, I keep all my belts here and they actually don't move when I, when I drive. I know it's crazy, they don't. Uh, so you come up the steps and this is our bed area here. And there's shelves up there with a power supply right here for, to charge your cell phones and anything else you need to charge. And we do have TV here with working internet. There is our internet box, AT&T hotspot. So, and this is the bathroom. Sorry, <laughs> once again, I was about to fall. This is the bathroom and it is not finished yet. So right over here, when you come into our bathroom, sorry about the camera angle, and I know you guys are probably hating me right now, but this is the washing machine we bought, and I have not hooked it up, and so I should probably do a video on that when I hook it up and show how it is. But anyways, this is the rest of the bathroom, and it's not finished, I know, I mean, but... I mean, it, it's still usable. We're still using it. Uh, everything does work in here. You know, everything works. Everything's usable. Uh, we do have, I don't know if you can see it here. We do have our fresh, I'm sorry, our on-demand hot water heater. And we also have a bucket for the toilet. And we have sawdust inside of that bucket for the, for the toilet so this is our shower and this is the bathroom sorry about the angle i gotta get better at this camera stuff but this is where we're at and this is that's the door 
So we were gonna do a barn style door. However, I'm not that great at, uh, at carpentry or putting any of this stuff up. So that's where we're at. But um, that's a residential style window if I didn't say that, sorry about that. And this is an RV escape window. Uh, I, I guess that would be an egress window. So there's that. And um, I don't know if I missed anything, but guys, I am gonna come out with more videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'm going to do a lot more, maybe some daily vlogs. I don't know, but please, guys, like and subscribe, and I'm going to show more of these videos.